thing we have to fear is fear itself. Phobias is the sum of all fears. The blood-drenched legacy of Phobias Haunted House began over a century and a half ago with one man's deranged obsession that haunts us to this day. To enter Phobias is to enter a nightmare world of crazed carnies, murderous freaks, and horrific experiments gone terribly wrong. Come one, come all. Take a look behind the scenes of this innovative, immersive, and utterly terrifying haunted attraction. But be warned, whatever you fear will find you in here. Enter Phobias. Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Justin Fears here from Phobias. Nikki Fears, Phobias. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of rundown on what Phobias is and uh, how things got going here for us and, and a little bit of uh, background information. Um, basically, we are in Wright City, Missouri, uh, in the heart of the United States, and we uh, operate a, a professional haunted house. And so hopefully this, uh, this video will give you a little bit of insight into, uh, into what Phobias is. I would like to say that if somebody was to ask me about Phobias, we spend a lot of time in our set design and the development of our characters, but if somebody was to ask me what Phobias was really about, I would say that it's about our actors. Phobias is about family, it's about uh, bringing people together and really just doing what we all love and are passionate about. And so we like to do that every time we get together. and. Uh, you know, our actors are, are passionate um, as well as us and, and really so that's what comes out and when our actors get in there and they're doing their thing, Phobias comes to life. Without them, uh, the, the haunt really doesn't exist. Uh, it would just be a shell and uh, so, you know, we love our Phobias family and we, uh, we hope that that is conveyed in, in the story and the, the, uh, the entertainment value that we, we try to provide. I work at Phobias, it's my fourth year there. And uh, my name, I, I used to play as a character Crowley in the graveyard, but now they have bumped me up to the Dr. Fears. Uh, working for Justin and Nikki has been an ultimate experience. I mean, it's uh, I've never worked for anybody where I felt loved. And they uh, honestly, from my deep heart, uh, have became my family and has stayed my family. And I would never see myself working for another haunt. But, uh, as long as I'm here breathing, I'm gonna be a phobia still to the, the day I die, or until the day I really die. Or somebody kills you. Or somebody kills me. You know? <laughs> but honestly, all the actors there, top notch. Uh, working with them makes me better, and uh, I can't I can't express in much how much deep and admiration and love I have for Phobias and everybody who's involved with it. And, uh, See you guys soon. Well, we're in a warehouse that's about 60,000 square feet. We utilize about 20,000 square feet of it. Um, we have a little bit of an indoor outdoor attraction um, going on. Um, our, our parking lot is not in the same location as our haunted house. So we have to shuttle our patrons um, from from the parking lot. That's a little scary for them to leave their their belongings behind and not know where they're going. Um, we ship them out on blacked out buses um, to to the location. So um, it's a fun little caveat. We have a staff of about 70 people um, that helps make the world go round when we have a show. Um, a lot of different components to that. We got yeah. you know there's makeup, security, bus drivers, bus actors haunt actors, you know, there's a lot of different uh, cogs to that. Yeah, any given night, there's about 45 to 50 actors, um, and then plus support staff. So um, we're very fortunate in that they are, um, they love what they do, and they love the rest of their family. Um, we're very protective of our, our family, so um, it's a drama-free environment. Um, we, we love that. We want them to be able to have their daytime jobs and to kind of come here um, on Friday and Saturday night and, and have that release um, from everyday reality. Um, and I think they have that opportunity and they take pride in that. So 
we, we're happy to provide it for them. We also like to be contributing members of, of the community and the surrounding community, so we try to do things that are going to benefit from a community service standpoint. Uh, we adopt the highway out in front of the haunt. We uh, want to give a shout out to Don't Be a Monster. We are a member of, of that program and they do great things uh, for, for adolescents. Uh, really we just want to be a, a positive entity in the community and, and conduct our business that way. Um, it started, you know, I guess it's bootstrap mom and pop type stuff, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about entertainment value and getting people together that love what they do and providing a, a show and uh, a break from reality for not only the people going through, but the people that are here doing it with us. Inline entertainment while we wait? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pick a card, any card. <laughs> not that one, please. <laughs> Come on. I have got all day. I'm willing to bet you any amount of money that I don't care what card you're <laughs> holding right now. <laughs> um, when you get off the bus, uh, you're met by our um, Helga Headstone um, and her lovely medicine show. Um, we have several different facets to the haunt. It's not just uh, you go in the front doors and we kick you out. Um, we like to entertain you the whole way through. So from the point that you get off the bus to the point that you get back to your car, um, usually depending on whether you're a walker or a runner, um, it could take about 45 minutes um, plus uh, depending on, on traffic and, and what your, what your uh, haunting style, scare style is. So um, we have lots of people that get on the bus um, and don't get off. We have lots of people that get on the bus, get off, um, go through the first few sections of our show and then get to the main attraction and refuse to go in. Um, and then we have a lot that will we'll bail um, about halfway through the show, the main production itself, which is amazing. Um, however, on the flip side of that, we'll have kids that maybe eight, nine, ten years old come through and they're fine. Um, but their, you know, grown adult parent might not be fine. <laughs> um, we have, um, out of, ne well, not necessity, but out of demand, um, we have a, um, I peed my pants at phobia board that we started. <laughs> uh, we found our first year in operation that people love to tell us when that happens. Um, I think personally, if I had done it, I would not be telling anybody, but, um, people love to tell us so we gave them an opportunity to declare it to the world um, every year we have about 3,000 that sign that board um, and they they just they take pride in it they love it so yeah it's we let thing. them have it <laughs> I, I think it needs to go on a shirt now that I'm thinking about it maybe that's a, that's a good idea where we don't necessarily recommend uh, adolescents or people under 16 we want the show to be enjoyable for everybody, so we try to provide opportunities for people that it, if if it was too scary or it's a parent dragging their seven-year-old who kicking and screaming, we have what's called a, a chicken light. We talk about this on the, on the Haunters Hangout too, but um, it's basically a glow stick that they can carry around and they use it uh, against the actors and our actors are trained to uh, recognize and respect uh, the glow stick and it basically works like uh, garlic to a vampire and it empowers the kids and it, it's a great way uh, for them to enjoy the uh, the experience without you know being completely terrified or not being able to make it through no. we invite all of you guys to come and check us out and if you don't know the backstory you can go to the website and check out the backstory and if you if you watch either the, this video or um, you get an opportunity to come. Uh, it really puts things in perspective, and it'll make it'll make total sense to you. So uh, we're excited, and we appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.